when adopting new beliefs and new ideals and new thoughts and even a whole new identity when we want to change and grow and manifest and leave what we have known to be true and before when we want to leave that behind for good we have to become new we we must implement those new thoughts those new feelings those new actions and with that can come imposter syndrome or fear of being found out or you know being called out for changing like hey like who are you pretending to be right now when you're around your friends or your family like I'm sorry what like this is a new person like they might even think you're joking right and that can be not fun and its own hurdle to go through but I want to give you some peace of mind because if you want to change and grow first of all and adopt a new identity and a new way of self in whatever way that you desire no matter how big or small like you can you have every right we are entitled to we are entitled to growth we deserve the space to grow the space to change and it's a beautiful thing and it's also why we're here so don't forget that and you're not fake and you're not a phony and you don't have to deal with imposter syndrome because I have some pretty good news for you to help you becoming a new person and adopting this new self looking at it from a different angle if unwanted feelings or concerns or just uneasiness about this change may arise I know nothing about acting just a little preface but I can imagine acting like any other job and career and passion in the world when somebody wants to act and they see a role right like a athlete sees the team they want to be on or an artist sees the school or the people they want to work for or produce for right when an actor sees a role that they so you know want and they want to experience right and they might look at I don't know <laughs> where the directors are looking for or the script or the person's persona and they might not get it right the first time but they're gonna keep on going and this is true for you know the top actors whether on in Hollywood or on Broadway or doing whatever great other great actors do I don't know but or wherever other great actors are I don't know but the best of the best at anything no matter what job the athletes the pilots the military personnel you know the firefighters <laughs> what do they do they persist and an actor who is literally their whole job is to pretend to be somebody they're not and they do a damn good job at it right how many times have you gotten lost in a film knowing that like you've seen these other actors in like 10 different things and you love them and you see them be a normal person but when you're entranced in their work and their persona and their acting you you are so connected to that film and you don't see that actor you see the story the person you feel it and it can be so real right we've all seen movies that shit can be like whoa I thought I knew you or whatever <laughs> I don't know but um it's no different for us and look at it like an actor you're just performing getting prepared for your new role as your new self because remember it's so natural to not be uh, great at something when you first try it comfortable with something when you first try it consistent with something perfectly when you first try it or adopt it or utilize it right that's natural and that's normal and so be gracious with yourself as an actor you know who is determined to make it big and who is passionate about these roles that is outside their comfort zone but they know that these roles or role that they're passionately you know and consistently working on that they they know that it's going to get them to where they want to be and you can be this this same skillful intentional persistent person in your life applying these same principles to creating the new you 
and it's not weird it's not silly it doesn't make you fake it doesn't make you um you know uh someone who's just trying to run away from their past like you are deserving of change and growth and i think anyone who doesn't permit that or allow that for the betterment of course is um restricting people of of, birth, of their birthright and I want you to feel empowered to use this birthright that you have to change, to grow, to try new things, to experiment, and to also have fun while doing it. And I think this is a great way to do it, you know, pretend, act your little heart out, have fun, be creative, and get uncomfortable because that is where your new comfort is eventually going to be, right? So keep going, have fun, you little star, you little warrior, and kick ass.